everyone, how the hell are you? Welcome back for another fun-filled installment of The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd. This week, I've got more news about smokers' rights being trampled all to hell and back. But I wanted to start with a story that really, really pisses me off. You know, there's almost no one on planet Earth these days that doesn't know that smoking comes with certain health risks. And I believe that most people who do smoke understand and appreciate the rights of those who choose not to smoke. It's just a real damn shame that that respect isn't usually reciprocated back to the smokers. And that many who smoke are often the targets of ridiculous and overreaching laws. But what you're about to see goes beyond even that. And I must warn you all that if you have a weak stomach, you may not want to watch what I'm about to show you. Because the United States government, in particular the Food and Drug Administration, has decided that they are going to force tobacco companies to put new warning labels on their cigarette packs. What sort of labels? I'm going to show you. And again, be warned, this is graphic. The American government wants pictures of a diseased lung and a sewn up corpse on a lawfully produced product, something that goes well beyond education and or a warning and is obviously meant to be inflammatory. And so, big tobacco companies a couple weeks ago decided to sue the Food and Drug Administration. These four companies, led by R.J. Reynolds, say that these labels violate their free speech rights, will cost them millions of dollars to print, and place anti-smoking advocacy messages more prominently on their cigarette packaging than the brand name itself. What's next in this country, my friends? Bottles of whiskey with pictures of a diseased liver on them? Hey, here's one. Maybe speeding tickets printed on photos of crash victims. Sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? You know why? Because it is stupid. Adults know the consequences for their actions when it comes to smoking without the need of nanny state scare tactics that Uncle Sam wants to implement. The FDA has yet to comment on this lawsuit. Big surprise. These new labels are supposed to be required by October 22nd of 2012. We're going to follow the story, keep you updated. We'll be back in just a minute. The Vapor King electronic cigarette is the new smoking alternative that offers you the ability to enjoy a smoke that's free of tar and toxins found in traditional cigarettes. No more lonely coffee. No more freezing cold. Smoke at the office, at the bar, anywhere. Using a revolutionary system, nicotine-infused liquid is vaporized for your enjoyment and full satisfaction. If you're looking to cut down on tobacco or just want to enjoy the experience of a casual smoke, the Vapor King electronic cigarette is for you. ever have a friend or a family member try to quit smoking and then gain a bunch of weight? People used to say it was because they just needed to have something else in their mouth or that they had substituted food for cigarettes. Now, however, a study from Yale University has found that nicotine actually affects people's metabolism and reduces the appetite. Additionally, it increases the body's energy use and inhibits enzymes involved in the accumulation of fat. Now, I'm not saying that if you're overweight, you should consider taking up smoking if you're not a smoker already. I just found it to be an interesting article. But not as interesting as New York's latest smoking ban. First, they made it illegal to smoke where people were trying to eat, like restaurants. And we said, okay, we understand that. Then they made it where you couldn't smoke in public buildings or on airplanes. And I think most smokers understood. But then it was public beaches plazas, even outdoor parks. Now, add outdoor train platforms to the list. In less than three months, New Yorkers will be forbidden from lighting up at any train waiting platform. 
even if that platform is outside because you know uh, <clears throat> no one wants nasty cigarette or cigar smoke detracting from the otherwise clean and healthy air of New York City finally from the stupid but true files researcher Christopher Millett of Imperial College in London says that movies motion pictures which depict the use of tobacco should be viewed by adult audiences only that's right my friends just like graphic violence foul language and shots of our naughty bits smoking in a movie should have an adult rating applied to it on word of this news Disney immediately stopped production of next year's the little Marlboro man <laughs> man with all the stupidity in the world is it no wonder people smoke and drink I'll see you all in two weeks Unless, of course, this show is pulled due to graphic content. You're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be.